couple of months and they ended up in waste. Uh, and, and so it happened to all the people who received these sons uh, from my network. Mm? <laughs> it's, it's very sad. It's just a fact of, it's a fact of product. It's not the fact about the idea. It's a fact of product. And let, let me just bring it to the... Um, and then the, the next project which I read in... Um, I'm sorry, my memory is failing me now. Uh, Timothy... Um, anyway. Uh, he's, he's a speaker for ecology, and he uh, describes uh, another project by Olaf uh, Liasson, where in uh, Paris climate change conference time, he brought these huge uh, blocks of ice. You probably have seen this. It's a, it's a fantastic project. And then and on his website, I went on his website because I was so frustrated, again, transporting ice. We need the ice there. It's melting. We need it there, right? Why do we transport it to, to Paris? And then I read the whole message. He's transporting it to, to make the visibility, you know, to make us more, more aware. And, and then he also wrote exactly what CO2 was, was uh, emissions we, we, we had because of the transport, what kind of transport vehicles he used and how complicated it was and all that. And, uh, and then again, I mean, th this kind of like, are we doing the right thing with translating the, the problem language into the art language. And I, I brought these two examples with the, with the solar sun and with, with, uh, with, uh, with the ice cubes because they are so well-known uh, projects. And I'm, I don't have an answer. I'm just saying, are we on the right track? Because if we are using uh, more materials just to convey a message, I'm sorry, for me, words is enough. Even an I image drawn by a painter will be enough. I don't need... Mm, the ice transported for me to understand these things. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. This, um, you already uh, touched my last question. <laughs> um, I mean, from, from our side, right? We open it up uh, quite soon for the audience as well. Um, and this would be, yeah, do you have any experience with artists um, in your um, company or in your um, institution? And then um, how to invite artists. So where do you see the potential of a collaboration with an artist? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Kind of <laughs> <laughs> I think I was still on the last. <laughs> so it's, uh, where do you see a potential uh, uh, for a collaboration with an artist? And do you have any experience in Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, you, you had to listen to the question again because of me. Um, uh, where I personally see uh, uh, really uh, great potential is because there are two different uh, development processes when an artist develops his work, uh, so that research process, and when a product developer or designer develops his work, that research process. And um, the, the way I have understood these two processes being different, that... Um, in, in, uh, in the designer's world, everything is sort of motor skill based. You know, you touch materials, you sniff it, you look up, you go to the exhibitions, you, you know, you, you have a very tactile way of, of working with materials and you get inspired from that and then you make the product. Whereas an artist is more, it comes more within, it's, it's, it's almost, um, I don't want to use the word more philosophical because that's not actually true. It's, it's more thought uh, process based and the the actual research process that leads to the final result is very different from design and 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 uh, also architect uh, um, product development process and I see that we can learn more from these processes not maybe not even from the end result and and that's when I very much intend to work uh, in in you know, next coming years to to invite more artists to work and sh and teach about the the, the art processes. Well, I think the place where we are sitting now is a very good forum, for example, to, to bring together artists and, uh, and companies who are involved in environmental um, topics. So um, I think this is the only way. Um, as an artist, as you told, it's a soul work, basically. So you should have your own intention to, to be involved in such question. You, you just don't want, you have to have that feeling that you don't want to make just something nice, but you want to achieve something uh, with your work. And 
then you have your personal individual intention to find synergies to, um, to, to, to make your work. So you start to uh, looking for companies, for example, who could be involved uh, to your work. And I think it's a very good forum like this. And I think there should be more of this. <laughs> I personally don't have any uh, experience working with artists, but um, <laughs> but I do think that answering the second part of the question as far as uh, collaborating uh, artists and companies, I, I think it, it definitely comes down to um, to the fact that people like me, and including me, obviously, uh, I could never come up with something that would catch someone's eye. like. I think the whole issue is about raising awareness and just have people realize what the problem is and that cannot happen without creating something that, whether it's something on the street, some, some street art, or, or it actually it doesn't matter what it is, but it has to be something that when someone walks by and looks at it and he goes, oh, like, what is it? And it looks interesting. I'm gonna read what the sign says. And, and I, I think when artists come into this uh, equation, it definitely the, the biggest part that they could um, take on is, is, is being creative and, and, and coming, up, coming up with things that would, that would uh, have people stop and, and, and look at it and, and look, make them go home and, and look into the problem and do some research of their own and things like that. To answer this question, maybe um, I should start with that. What what I forgot from my presentation that wrestling is a is a laboratory. So basically, we are um, we are measuring samples. Sometimes we are taking these samples or we are getting these samples from our customers. But our basic operation is 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 to measure, measure and measure and measure the samples and and produce the results to the to the customers. This is how we operate. Uh, the top on it is, is those CSR projects, what I tried to mention, that, that we are writing uh, some articles, we are um, maintaining some websites and, and um, providing information for the, for the public. And um, so if, if you have a look on our processes, I think you don't really, you cannot really implement art. In, in the processes. But maybe a good example is our next next week event where you will also participate. So if we do something where, where we want to raise awareness on the problem and, um, and just, just like a support material, you can have some artistic installation, I think. Thank you very much. And now the word is Yours? So, okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you. Thank you for the discussion and also for the previous panel. Um, and, uh, well, I was very happy to hear when you talked about uh, um, when you work with art and ecology, you have to work in an interdisciplinary field and you ho have to uh, connect different fields. And I really believe in that. I, I totally agree with that. Uh, me, myself, I am an ecological economist, uh, so I also work in an interdisciplinary uh, field and I think that's the way to move forward, for example, so that we can reflect on why is it problematic to promote protection of polar bears uh, with the... Uh, plastic polar bells produced in, in, in China. Um, but, and I also uh, believe, and I might disagree with, you know, with uh, the last, uh, with you a bit, that I think uh, to, to promote uh, ecological is issues, the way to move forward really to work with art, because that's how we can uh, affect the feelings of the people and really en engage uh, the broader society with these uh, issues. Um, and I would like to work with such projects, even if I'm at the moment, I'm still ecological economics. So I, I did uh, studies uh, and, and wrote papers and, and working on research. Um, 
And, uh, and you mentioned that uh, some of you worked uh, together with artists and people from different fields. And my question is that what, uh, what is it challenging in this, in this cooperation when you work with people from different fields? And I would be really interested in um, to hear about what is it challenging for the artists to work with uh, people from different fields, like for, to work with ecologists or, or, or economists or other social scientists. Because uh, in my experience, sometimes even our vocabulary is, is not the same. And, uh, and uh, well, I would like to develop some cooperation in the future. And yeah, I would like to hear. Thanks a lot. So you are more um, on the uh, science and uh, innovation side, right? At the moment, but you have you would be open for an art uh, cooperation. Very good. So I pass this on. <laughs> um, uh, well, uh, I think to to start with the challenge. Uh, I, I, in my experience, the biggest challenge is that artist uh, comes to uh, to a workshop, or let's put it in another direction, an economist comes to a workshop where there is also an artist, an architect, and I don't know, biologist and and, uh, and an engineer, and and uh, when uh, under one theme or under one task, uh, then uh, uh, if if the task is, for example, to design a solution, then the uh, the artist and the economist will act like designers, which actually absolutely fails why they were invited in the first place to collaborative project. Because what you need to do is to represent your uh, your your skill base and find a common language and to inspire